All right. So on this episode of Retro, Retro Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we're taking a look at Mighty Final Fight. Um, this is a game that, for whatever reason, I had had an obsession with trying to get my hands on ever since I saw a video of it um, about two years ago, and I looked into getting a copy. Um, I don't know, if, like, I was talking to, to you about it, Brett, but, like, there's this trend now with, um, there's all these websites or, or groups on Facebook that basically auction off video games, and you, excuse me, the, you know, you buy a certain number of spots, and then they, uh, will do a show, and it's just drawn at random, and it's by some absolute freaking miracle, I managed to win this thing, and I only paid 60 bucks? 50 bucks, 50 bucks. For, for the game, which isn't bad because considering that it, the going rate on eBay is like 250 bucks, yep. um, it's not bad, and it's a real game, and it's like in good condition and everything. So I played this for about two seconds, um, about a week ago, and it was just as much fun as I hoped it would be. Um, I don't know if you have anything to add about the game or anything. I um, picked this game up when I was in Japan for Famicom because of the price yeah. in the U.S. So, uh, I don't think I've actually ever played through it. I, I know I've probably powered it on. Yeah. But, um, this will be my first. Cool. Oh, you know what? I did play this. I remember that jump. So, right off the bat, um, it is, it is like an action beat-em-up. And it's very similar. I don't want to say it's exactly the same, but it's pretty similar to Double Dragon. Um, in that your character has, uh, you know, different types of attacks, and it also there's a leveling system. So, one of the things that's interesting also, which is different than Double Dragon, is that there are three... There are three characters to choose from. And the one you picked is is uh, Hagar, Sammy Hagar. And um, his the, the advantage of him is that he is slower than the other guys, but he starts up at a much higher level. He starts at level 3 and everyone else is at level 1. That's the reason why you pick him. I like him. So it's your pretty straightforward beat em up. You have different attacks. I find that like the jump attack in this game is what you live and die by. Okay. Yeah, I do that. It takes longer to kill guys, but it basically is like a free hit most of the time. And much like most, you know, any fight game, you don't want to get caught in between two dudes. In, at one point during each level, this is something I didn't realize, there are these barrels that you'll see roll across the screen. You want to try to hit them and not get hit by them, because if you punch them, they have items inside of them, health and like other stuff. But yeah, I think this is actually supposed to be like a parody of the Final Fight game. Yeah, see like, Hagar has some of those like special moves like that where you can like, um... Excuse me, where you like can pull wrestling moves and stuff and... I love his jump attack because it's just like a big butt bomb. There are other attacks you can get once you level up to a certain point. Like, I was reading that there's one where you can get where you're basically invincible and you just rush up and grab someone and like body slam them. I never, I didn't get far enough into the game the first time I tried it to like do it up. I think, I mean, this game was a late game, so I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing a lot of, po like, it's a game that's, I don't want to say it's, like, perfect, so you want to try to hit those, because those have, like, health and other stuff. Sometimes you can get weapons. Air. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, supposed to be, like, a, like, a, you know, Wanpaku graffiti style thing, but, I don't know, I do find it, like, it is, it is a little cartoony. And it's I wish that style. they would have had this engine for a lot of games. I think they could have really had some fun with this. And done a, maybe a sequel or... Yeah. I like the art style, too. It's... I love the art style. I think it's really... It's enjoyable. And it's, like, beautiful. It's, like, pretty and, like, you know... Like you said, it's a late, it's a late stage game. So... You, you're seeing a lot of polish, like the background having things going on, and here's the boss. Could have used some digitized speech, though. Yeah. 
I am the threat, and all the characters have the most ridiculous names. Oh, why'd you put yes? You're not supposed to do that. You should say no. You're, you're Sammy Hagar. I just jump kicked the shit out of this guy. That's all I did when I played through this. I think the thing that you need to remember is that there are a lot of beat ups, beat em ups for Ness, and a very small percentage of them are actually fun yeah. to play and good. I'm trying to think of the different. I don't. I can't remember any really. I mean, Double Dragon Three. I guess I would put as a not great beat em up, only because it's so goddamn difficult. There you go. I mean, Double the, Double Dragon Two was great. Yeah, it was. Double Dragon One was pretty bad. Three Double, was yeah. not so great. Boom! You just ripped uh, him up. That, what was that one that we played? Nice um, with all the weird-looking dudes that you hit. Captain Commander? No, it was we played it for Retro Wednesdays. Oh, Bad Street Brawler. Bad Street Brawler. That's a good game. There Shut was, up. What's the other one? Those guys have knives. The Bad Street Brawler is one where you, every time you have different attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that one, but there's also the one that we played that was like Rene Target Renegade or something. Oh yeah, that game sucks ass. And then Bayou Billy kind of sucked. I mean, yeah, Bayou, I mean, Bayou Billy is one of those games where <laughs> it's good and like terrible at the same time. It's good, but it's just, again, like, like Back to the Future, or Back to the Future, Double Dragon 3. It's just so freaking difficult. It's like just not fun. This move is fun, like, this game's fun, like, you just end up pulling moves, you don't even realize it, and you just end up pulling moves. River City Ransom was, was good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it's a weird game in that it's, like, very open. It's, like, one of the most open games I've ever played. Like, you don't have to follow anything, you just go wander around if you want. I remember reading it, there's, like, a group of guys who just, um, or one guy on YouTube who, I have to look him up, but... He made a video where he just spent like four hours just wandering around leveling his character and not dying. Like, he didn't he didn't do any of the main story, he didn't do anything other than just leveling his character. And uh, it became really fun and it's it's interesting because it's like you don't think about open world I don't say open world, but like widely open games when you think of the NES, but that's that's one that kinda it, you're able to do that. Like, he got all the power-ups, learned all the super moves, and then he went to beat the game, and he was like, it was a walk in the park. So, the jump kick method, much like Double Dragon games, is a really, it's, it's I don't know, I don't consider it being, I, it's cheap, but I don't consider it cheating, because, you know, it still takes a thousand years for you to, like, hurt people. I wish there was a dash. I think there, I think some characters have one, I don't think Hagger does, or Hagar. I like Hagger. I wonder if this character is modeled after Sammy Hagar. Hello, baby! Mas Tequila! Did you ever see the Sammy Hagar Cribs? No. Is he even a nice house? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess, I mean, he's a just it's, 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 uh, really not that cool, It's This is basic. I don't think it's that cool. It's... I kind of laugh when they did that. The... You know how, you know how the reason that you do cribs is because someone has like a movie theater in their house, or yeah. they have like a big collection of guitars, or they have um, you know some gaudy, ridiculous Scarface poster that's in the of diamonds, right? Or something. And, and his his stuff was just like definitely rich. But nothing really all that interesting. That he exciting. Had, he's on the beach and he has quads. I mean, that's not really. That's hmm. something I could do if I really wanted to. That's true. Maybe not live on the beach. Yes. You ever see Shaq's crib? Uh, I think, like I think I did. Yeah, he's like his house is crazy. Did you ever see Michael Jack? I know it's it's. I guess technically not, it's taboo to talk about still, but have you ever seen Michael Jackson's arcade? Holy shit, dude. I, I saw when they auctioned all the stuff off. That, his arcade was incredible. I would have, I mean, I would have loved to have seen it. So much stuff. I love that pile drive move. Hmm. 
So the girls have sometimes have crazy get, can pull off this crazy kick attack. And the dudes with the skull caps, they have knives, so you gotta be careful because they can throw them. That guy, the guy with the long, the striped jacket, like the Akuma looking dude right now, he, uh, I find that those guys tend to be extra aggressive. They'll like run up on you, and then like these dudes are like the wimp guys, they're just like, they take like one hit and they're dead. There's the same phenomenon happening on other consoles that happened, let's say, on Nintendo, where the early the early ones released in the system were graphically not as good, but also just not as good from a gameplay perspective. Um, I mean, I guess Super Mario Bros. I mean, I guess I'm a little biased in that I don't, I, I find most, not all modern games, but a good chunk of modern games to be crappy by comparison to, like, NES games and retro games, but, um, one of the things that I know, I think that is interesting, and I think it kind of plays into that, alright, you got leveled up, um, I think that part of the problem is that game, like, I don't know, I know that the game, quote-unquote, industry has been around for a million years, but I feel like this generation in particular and last generation, um, there's, like, way more of a sense of, uh, God, your hammer. There's way more of a sense of, uh, corporatization and, like, sort of formulaic approach to, uh, games, in that, like, every game now, like, yes, I think that downloadable content and updates and stuff like there's a there's a very cool place for that and I think it's great that you can put a game out and then you know the, the initial idea of it is like you put a game out and then you find where there are bugs and you find where there's things that people want to try out instead of just doing what you, you initially planned that there's that dash that's that that's when you when you level up to four I think is when you get that power up but uh I think it's I think that's a cool idea, but I think that part of the problem with it is that now it's it's so standard and so expected that it's like they're releasing games that aren't done right. Like they're they're wrong. They're not they're not properly put together and they're releasing them and then the idea is like, oh I'll just you know, we'll fix it with DLC and it's like it seems like the profit margin above everything else is now the standard. So I learned with this guy, he's a pain in the ass. Um it's just more jump kicks and try to stay away from because he will. He's a slam master. He's slamming. Like from, uh, he, his uh, his his sword attack will rip you really bad. And it takes a while to kill him, but he he will run up on you like that. It's very it's very tricky to. And his range is really wide, so like if you try to go vertical against him, like horizontally, um, I mean vertically against him to try to move out of the way, it sometimes will miss. But yeah, I think like, I, I do think that with every generation, like the first games that come out are not as polished as games that come out later. Just because it's like a new programming environment, a new programming uh, language in some cases, like new engines and stuff, in a lot of cases, that can uh, make it trickier to develop. I mean, look at like the PlayStation 3, like how even now, like people still haven't really developed to its full potential because the, sh the cell processor and the architecture of it um, makes it really hard. Even now, and it's been out for like how many years? I guess, I guess what I was kind of wondering is we sort of do have a formula for a good game. You have lots and lots of precedent that you can refer to. One is, um, and so even if the gra like graphically it's not as good as, as the later titles, you still know what a game looks like. So the gameplay has the potential to be yeah. just as good as a later game. 
So at least does that happen? Or, or do, do they evolve as the system matures? I still think they evolve as the system, as the system goes. To me at least. Because I, I sort of feel like... Uh, There is, there are, uh, people didn't know what the fuck they were doing when they developed the NES. Totally yeah, there's related. a fair amount of games that definitely fall into that category. Uh, we'll just try this and see what happens. Well, I guess, you know, not anyone can release a game for Xbox One these days. True. So you need to have some capital, you need to have some skill, you can't release crap. Anymore. Yeah. Pits are cheap. I mean, you can use them to your advantage, which is nice. But... Like, there's a little, there's a subtle little thing that is a huge improvement over, um, see, over, uh, Double Dragon. You could, sometimes enemies would run off the screen and they could hit you, but you can hit them. And in this game, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Why does it when I get tired my nose itches all the time? I don't know. This is about as far as I got the last time when I first played this. Your, your TV screen's getting weird. It's a bright purple. It's because the contrast is up really Is that it? Yeah. Hmm. Like when you when you go in for a regular attack on someone. Like, I don't, or like when they attack you, it's like there's no way to get out of it with Hagar. And I feel like maybe with some of the other characters, like Cody or whatever, I feel like you can jump out of it. That's the game we gotta do. We gotta do Batman Returns from the Genesis. It's a great beat em up. And you get to be Batman. I really like Splatterhouse 3. That is a great game too, yeah. It's a good game. I really just like Splatterhouse in general for how they did they just did everything so gruesome. Yeah. It was awesome. It was cool that even back then, like, you could find games that, you know, push the boundary, so to speak. Interestingly enough, it didn't seem like it got all that much like press for being Yeah, for being outrageous. I mean, I, I think it was God damn it. You know, leaps and bounds more violent than Night Trap and those other games. Yeah. That really... Night Trap just got really bad. It just got screwed in the press. More than anything. It, just, it was just like every news outlet reported it as some kind of rape game. And that's, you know, that was like unheard of back in the day. Because of that one stupid shower scene. God damn it. Cheap moves. I hate those knife guys. I mean, if you played that game for five minutes, you'd see that it... Yeah, it had nothing to do... I mean, you're supposed to save the girl. I guess if a game's going to get lots of flack in the media, at least it was a shitty one. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I love that game. I just suplexed the girl. It makes me feel happy. Is that a girl though? I, I think it is. Thing. This guy you know, is like fucking whole, no, it's really a, hard. I mean, it's a girl, but the argument was that poison is actually transgender. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So if you're fighting poison, yeah, you're still fighting poison. I had a really hard time with this guy. I wish you could tell who was talking. That's like one thing. He's got that counter. He's anti air. Jump kick takes no damn it, it takes forever, but I don't know how else to do it. I was never able to get a combo off on this guy ever. That kinda helps. Doesn't take much damage away though.
Oh, it says Fujiyama Geisha. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Fujiyama? Oh, shit. What is this? Great. Wow, man, what the fuck? No. Very Castlevania-ish when you're fighting Dracula. His swords are probably gonna break soon. Yeah, there you go. So what do I do now? Like, let him, let him charge and then try to run up and get some hits on him. But dodge the charge, because it does, like, a ton of damage. How do I dodge it? Just by jumping? Yeah, get out of the way, yeah. Just run out of the way. But, like, when he's like that, he can't, he doesn't do anything, so you can hit him. He can charge the diagonally, too. Why the too. fuck is not hitting him? I don't know. It's not, it's not hitting him. Why the try jump attack? I don't know. Maybe try to get a throw off. I don't know how to grab. Alright, it's not taking my inputs now. Boom, there you go, there you heard. Super special or whatever. Nice. The, the jump when I press the jump button it doesn't do anything. Wow, that was not fast at all. This is how I used to do it in the arcade. <laughs> it doesn't do much damage, but at least it keeps them off me. Nice. Alright, last job. level, baby. I got 32 EXPs. Bay Area, baby. Okay. Oh my god, look. Half my health. Wow, are you serious? That's low. Yeah, but still, I mean, that's ridiculous. Guess I'm going all jump kicks this time. Would be nice to face the, the right direction. I don't know how I managed to pull off that pile driver. Sit down. I guess they made the last level like real life. Like if you were actually going out and fighting all these people. Starting to get rumble. The game got smart and it's now taking like almost no damage away from jump kicks. Son of a bitch. Ripped you. Just 
Since I'm so low level, I think that's a problem. Yeah. Ah, well. I don't feel like continuing, so final thoughts. Well, there's no continues left. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to start over or anything. It's fun. I think it's a really, really repetitive, and it's definitely not worth the price that it goes for. Yeah, I agree. I think it's, you know, it's an overpriced rarity game. Um, it is definitely repetitive, but I guess it's kind of the mare, the, the mare. That's kind of the nature of, uh, being most in general is that they're very repetitive, which is kind of, I think, part of the reason I like them. Um, it's a fun game. It's got pretty good music. Um, the move system is not the best, and it's very similar to Double Dragon in that two-thirds of the time I can't figure out how to get it to pull itself off. Um, but it's something I'm going to keep playing. I think it's one of those games that, um... You have to play more to get really good at, and I think I think I'm doing a disservice to to, to myself by playing Hagar the whole time because it seems like the other characters might be a little bit uh, faster and a little bit easier to level up. So uh, yeah, it's a fun game. It's definitely not something I would recommend trying to get unless you're like a hardcore collector because it's definitely not worth $250. I think it's that's crazy. Um, the Famicom version is cheaper, but it's still in the 40 to 60 I think range at this point. All, all Famicom games are expensive now, too, so, um, you know, there are reproductions out there you can get cheap. Um, it's a pretty fun game. It's a good example of a good 93, 90s NES game that's got, like, a good amount of polish and a good amount of graphics, and, um, it's kind of fun and cute in its graph in its presentation, and it's a pretty good Capcom game. Um, so yeah. Does not support two players. Does not. Interesting. No. Nope. Interesting. Maybe, the question. Maybe you have to press start on your Yeah. But yeah, this is a uh, Mighty Final Fight and Retro Wednesdays, and uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>